The day on the safari started off like any other, but then an unexpected sight surprised everyone. It was a perfect day in the wilderness, with wildlife moving about as usual. Everything changed when George and Mark, two guides, spotted a line in the distance that took their breath away, and what happened next left them stunned. The lion looked unusual, almost as if it needed help from the guides. George quickly called a local wildlife expert who was surprised by the situation. This was a new experience for him, and after looking at the ultrasound images, the expert decided to involve local authorities. But the big question was, what was wrong with the lion? And what did the ultrasound show? Going into the wild to check the health of a wild animal is not unusual, but the guides were so worried about this strange lion that they felt a professional checkup was necessary. Even with their extensive experience, they had never seen a case like this before. The expert they contacted asked for help, and the authorities promised to act quickly. It became clear that the lion needed not just medical attention, but also surgery, as there was a serious issue inside its stomach. This situation seemed critical for the lion's survival. Everyone who witnessed these events was amazed. They never expected such a situation to happen. The guides and the wildlife expert were especially shocked by what was happening. They were determined to solve the mystery. George talked about his long experience as a guide and his connection with the lion. And after he gave this account, a gasp of disbelief came from the area where the surgery was taking place. I can't believe it, the wildlife expert exclaimed. But what inside the lion could have surprised him so much? While guides play a crucial role in protecting the savanna and its animals, they often find themselves unprepared for some challenges. This does not diminish the importance of their conservation work. Without a strong support network, guides can feel overwhelmed by their responsibilities and pressure from their superiors. The outside world has noticed this, leading to increased stakes and interventions. George, assessing the situation, thought about what to do next. Was it heat exhaustion from being out in the sun for too long? No, that wasn't the case. He had been drinking enough water, so he wasn't hallucinating. The troubling sight before him made George very concerned and led him to instinctively step back. At first, he kept his distance from the lion, unsure of how it might react. Seeing the animal in distress made George feel a strong urge to help. The lion, the most majestic he had ever seen, was also familiar to him. After discussing with the supervisor, George was convinced that immediate action was necessary. They had to address the abnormal swelling in the lion's belly quickly. It was clear that urgent intervention was needed. George approached the lion carefully, joined by other rangers. It was unclear how the lion, a proud and potentially dangerous animal, would react to him. Suddenly, all attention turned to George, and a sense of worry spread among the rangers. Was the lion going to charge at him? His colleagues warned him to back away, saying that the lion might become aggressive if it felt trapped, leading to unpredictable behavior. The rangers then came up with a different plan. They decided to call the nearest wildlife veterinarian for help. And after a brief call, the ranger passed on the veterinarian's advice. They should stay away from the lion to avoid provoking it until they could sedate it. The veterinarian instructed the rangers to prepare the lion for examination. The officials were unsure of the next steps and sought the veterinarian's advice. Should they follow the original plan or move the lion to a different location for care? They decided to stick with the original plan. However, getting to the veterinarian's location was challenging because she was unfamiliar with the area and it was peak traffic time. Despite these difficulties, she needed to arrive quickly to help the lion. One of the wardens suggested bringing in the veterinarian. Although this would cause delays, some people at the warden headquarters knew how to reach the location and navigate there. Therefore, the veterinarian decided to head to their office. When she arrived, the warden faced a new problem. The tranquilizer's effect had worn off, and the lion was no longer staying still. After waiting for a long time, the lion started to move around. The wardens were unsure of what to do next. Some thought about giving up and going home, questioning whether saving the animal was even worth it, especially if it had ingested something harmful. The team was split. However, the majority of the team took the veterinarian's advice seriously. They knew that letting the lion go now would likely mean its death. And thankfully, most of the team chose to continue their efforts to help the lion. Even though the lion moved slowly, the wardens used their vehicles to prevent it from wandering further into the wilderness. They had run out of tranquilizers, so they couldn't sedate the lion anymore. However, the veterinarian still had one dose left. They needed to buy time for the veterinarian to arrive. 
As the veterinarian got closer, the lion stayed where the security team had initially placed it for treatment. Still, the situation was getting worse, with the lion becoming more aggressive. The veterinarians knew that immediate action was crucial and decided that sedation was the only option. However, she was concerned about the risks, especially the possibility that the lion might not recover after sedation because of its distressed state. Despite this, the lion's aggressive behavior reassured her that it had a strong will to survive, which made her more confident in the sedative's effectiveness. She carefully administered the tranquilizer to the lion, and soon after, the lion was no longer visible. During the physical examination, the vet confirmed her suspicions. An indigestible object was lodged at the entrance of the lion's stomach. With no other options available, she realized that surgery was the only way to remove the object. This became the critical next step. While any surgery carries risks, the danger is greater when the operation must be done outdoors in a vast open area. However, sometimes there are no other choices. As the vet carefully made incisions to the lion's skin, muscle, and throat, the obstruction was finally revealed to everyone present. The vet performed the surgery with great skill and care, but the discovery was surprising to all involved. What was removed from the lion was a large piece of undigested food that had caused the swelling in its stomach. Inside the food was an object that initially puzzled the veterinarians, which led George to contact law enforcement. The object was shiny and unusual, prompting George to suspect it might be something important. He informed the officers that he believed the object was a tiny microchip encased within the food. George then recounted a recent incident in the area involving some suspicious individuals and described how the situation had developed. George had previously encountered illegal hunters who had a gadget that he had taken from them. He quickly retrieved this gadget from his vehicle and showed it to law enforcement officers. One officer immediately recognized the gadget because a similar one had been recently found with someone else. This gadget could track the microchip, allowing hunters to find the lion quietly without the conservationist knowing. This method had been used recently. The undigestible food had caused a blockage in the lion's stomach. Once the microchip was removed, the veterinarian finished stitching up the lion's wounds. She made sure the lion had no other issues. Unfortunately, the lion was in good health and was expected to recover quickly, and it didn't take long for the lion to regain consciousness. At first, the lion seemed disoriented and confused about what had happened. However, over time, he began to move with more agility than he had before the surgery. Once the lion finally went back into the wilderness, the veterinarian had one last duty, to express sincere gratitude to the conservationists for their outstanding efforts in protecting both themselves and the lion. The police were committed to catching the poachers responsible for the incident, and in the end, they succeeded in apprehending them. So, what did you think of today's story, and what are your thoughts on poachers? Please share your opinions in the comments below, and don't forget to like this video and share it with others, and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss any of our future uploads, and we'll see you next time.